Hello viewers, I am Dhanya Goyal, again with you with a second episode of Computer Fundamentals in which we will discuss the generations of computer. So without wasting time, let us begin. Now first of all, let us see what is the meaning of generations of computer. Generation of computer was treated as change in technology, especially the hardware changes. Now the evolution of computer is divided into five parts. These are named as first generation, second generation, third generation, fourth generation and fifth generation. Let us now begin with first generation. Now, first generation computers were used from 1946 to 1959. Let us discuss the basic features of first generation computers. First generation computers were of huge size, huge size like a room. Because of their huge size, they were non-portable. First generation computers used vacuum tubes technology. I've shown you the picture of vacuum tubes. You can see as a type of filament glass bulb, these are also made up of glass and it has filaments inside it. Now, these first generation computers produced a lot of heat and because of heat, it was necessary to have an AC, air conditioner. Now these were used for scientific purpose. Common people can't use it. Why? Because they were very very costly. These were unreliable machines. It supported machine language, a language which is easily understandable by the computer but it is very difficult to understand it by a user so the machine language is in the form of 0 and 1 now let's see some examples of first generation computers now the first generation computer is NEA that is electronic numerical integrator and computer as you can see the image of ENIAC it is a size of a huge room in this picture you can see that the maintenance of the computer is made this is the small part of the large computer in which circuits are being shown. In this, we can see that the vacuum tubes are being inserted. Next comes EDIVAC, Electronic Discrete Variable Automatic Computer. Next comes Univac, Universal Automatic Computer. This is the type of control center or control unit. This is a printer. Next comes IBM 701. 
next is IBM 650 now let's see the second generation computers second generation computers were used from 1959 to 1965 the basic features of second generation computers were that these used transistor technology as you can see the picture of transistor the technology changed next these were smaller in comparison with first generation computer but not so smaller that we can move the computer from one place to another these were also non portable they produced less heat but not so less that there was no need of ac there was a need of ac it was a must need next these were also very costly these were more reliable as compared to first generation computers they supported both machine language and assembly language in the picture i have showing you on the left hand side there is the machine language and on the right hand side there is assembly language next these were also used for business purposes now and also for scientific purposes some examples of second generation computers are IBM 7094 next CDC 1604 Control Data Corporation Next CDC 3600 Next Univac 1108 Next comes IBM 1620. Now let's go through third generation computers. Third generation computers were used from 1965 to 1971. The basic features of third generation computers were these used integrated circuits that is IC. IC was invented by Robert Noyce and Jack Kilby. When was it invented? It was invented in 1958 and 1959. These were smaller in size. Why were they smaller in size? Because a single IC contained a number of transistors. It generated less heat, but still there was a need of AC. These were not very really costly, but still out of common people's range. Let's see. These were more reliable computers as compared to previous generation computers. These supported now these computers even supported high level language. As in the picture you can see high level languages. Next these were also used 
for business and scientific applications. Let's go through some of the examples of third generation computers. IBM 360 Honeywell 6000 series PDP Personal Data Processor 8 Next comes IBM 7 Next next comes Next comes IBM 370-168 ICL 2900 TDC 316 and Now let's start with 4th generation computers These were from 1971 to 1980 the basic features of fourth generation computers are these used very large scale integrated circuits VLSI. In this, a single IC contained thousands of transistors and electronic components. This is a picture of VLSI. Now, these computers were smaller in size and hence, they were portable. These were reliable machines and very less heat generation was there. And because of very very less heat generation, there was no need of AC. These were very cheap in cost and hence affordable. It supported high level language like C, C, DBase, etc. It also contained a technology called Graphics User Interface, that is GUI. It was made for the easy interaction between computer and the user. Some examples are PDP-11 Cray-1 Supercomputer now, what is a supercomputer? This is what we are gonna see in our next topic. Cray X, Cray MP, Super M. And many more examples are there. Now let's discuss fifth generation computers. These were from 1980 and are going on now also. Let's go through the basic features of 5th generation computers. These used ultra large scale integrated circuits that is ULSI. In this a microchip have 10 million 
10 million electronic components. This is a picture of ULSI. Now these were very small in size and a reliable machine. In this fifth generation computers, there was also development of artificial intelligence that is AI. There was also development of NLP that is natural language processing. There was a use of parallel processing also. Fifth generation computers have more user friendly interfaces with multimedia features. Very powerful and compact computers at cheaper rates. Some examples are Desktop Laptops Ultrabook Tablets, Chromebook, Macbook and many more Now this is a full flow chart of all the 5 generations of computer. This will be very useful for those who want to learn or who would like to see it in a brief. Thank you guys for watching this video. Our next topic would be types of computer part 1. Please tell me about the feedback and suggestions in the comment section and if you like my video please share, subscribe and like my videos. Thank you for watching.